Y'all, before we get into this video, quick side note, I don't know what happened to my camera today, but there's bars everywhere and it's very distracting and kind of just, eh, one of those days. Answer me. Answer me. How's it going, my little snowflakes? Yes, and in today's video, we're gonna rip our throats open? What? Let's get down to it. Okay, so in today's video, the things you're gonna need to start with, we're gonna do this in like two sections. So first we're gonna make our skin flap. So you are going to need a flat end brush and or if you're anything like me, a straight up big paint brush though. Like not like a little tiny detail brush. We're gonna need something big because the second item you're going to need is cotton balls. And well, I guess three items, Never mind. I lied. <laughs> as per usual. Anyway, you get cotton balls, but you're also going to need Elmer's liquid glue. And I suggest the liquid glue for this look because of what I'm gonna do with it, which sounds really suspicious. <sighs> okay, so what you're gonna need to do first is take some face paint and or eyeshadow, and you're gonna wanna trace out where you're gonna go with your cotton balls, cause if you're anything like me, you're gonna get lost. And I did that the first, oh, 5,000 times? I know. So we're gonna start with a line down here and it's gonna go across like so. Just to know where you're gonna put your cotton balls. Now I'm using the color black because like there's gonna be a lot of blood and then this way it'll make it look even more realistic. And as we know in all of my videos, I am a hoe for realism. Like I'm all about that realism, you know? No treble. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no chip. Okay, so now we're gonna take our cotton balls, but you're gonna wanna like pull them just a touch, like so, so that they're kind of flattened like that and they're moved out, like it kinda laid down, laid down, flattened, pulled, whatever. You want your cotton ball to look like this. So to get it like that, you take a regular cotton ball, like so, and you just lightly pull. Okay, that was a little aggressive, never mind. Another one. <laughs> okay, and you just lightly pull like that because you just want it a little flattened because we're going to be making a skin flap. So now that we have our skin flaps out, Ow! that sounds inappropriate. Anyway, let's paint them on. Glue. <laughs> So you'll roughly need about like four pieces that are laid out like so. Okay, so now that we look like a fancy little house cat, what we're gonna wanna do is do the exact same thing all over again. So like shampoo, we're just gonna wanna rinse and repeat. So I'm sorry for a blurry side screen on this, but I need a different angle because I really need to show you how we're gonna secure down these cotton balls, okay? And we're gonna need the same applicator br brush and we're gonna need to add glue and paste down the ends of our cotton balls, like so. Here, let me show you. Okay, so now the essential part of our ends being secured is happened, is happened, <laughs> is done. Now what we're gonna need to do is just um, add a lot of glue along the entire cotton balls. And then what I'm gonna do is shape a skin flap with the wet glue. And because it's liquid glue and it's not liquid latex, it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. So you are gonna need a hair dryer and or a fan if you have. So now that your skin flap is completely dry, <laughs> Me, if I was the creator of the universe, and I'm just like, hey, so now that our skin is completely dry, let's make more humans. Anyway, <laughs> what you're going to need to set this now is translucent powder. And of course, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl translucent powder. You can use any other kind, but that's all I have. <laughs> so I'm going to be using that. And you're going to want to get a generous amount. And we're just going to finish the whole area of where all the glue has set and dried. And of course, over top our little skin flap. Okay, 
Okay, so I moved camera angles because the decoration process is something you really need to get like a close up on because I'm all about that realism. So what you're gonna need next is either face paint or foundation. I'm using foundation by CoverGirl because that's all I got, but that's the color I'm gonna be using to resemble my skin. And I'm just gonna be adding foundation to the entire skin flap. Don't worry so much about the underneath process of like painting it with foundation. You just want the top because you want it to blend in with your skin. Okay, so now that we're ready to decorate, I'm going to be using the Maron Face Paint Palette. And the color I'm going to be using is this nice black color right here. Because we want to show just how deep this gash is. So let's get to painting. Alright, so now I'm going to be grabbing my Ben Nye Bruise Wheel and I'm going to be using the red color, which has some other makeup in it because I never wash my brushes, whatever. <laughs> and you're going to need a semi-detailed brush for this. And yes, like I've said, my brushes are never clean. I should probably clean them, but <laughs> I'm lazy. Now what we're going to be doing is we've filled our brush with face paint. We're going to flip up our little skin here and we're just going to paint under the skin with our red color, okay? So a lot of you are probably wondering if you've seen the recipes I put in the description, a lot of you are probably like, Beth, why is everything you make edible? Weird, you sicko. No, because I'm dumb and if I'm using my hands, I'll be like, <laughs> like you've seen it in every video. I will literally to my brushes like it's a problem. I need help. Dr. Phil. Okay, guys. So now that we have finished decorating our entire skin flap, now I made it a little bigger than the video I showed before this because it's the reveal that I really want to show you. Plus, this way you know what to do and now you can just play with it however you want. You can make it as thin as you want, as long as you want. It's just a fun little project. I love doing horror makeup. Shall we do a reveal? Oh, I think we should. There you guys go. Now I have some more nightmare fuel for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to squeeze that like button or Quacky will be very sad. We don't want that. If you enjoyed this video too, don't forget to turn on my notification bells so you get notified every time we do creepy stuff like this. And that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to squeeze that like button though. Quacky, he's watching you. See you in the next video, guys. And cut! <laughs> oh, satisfying. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Wee! I should keep this in a jar. Could you imagine having friends over and being like, what's that? It's my skin.